All right, what's going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? We're here for another another little training wrap up. We're taking a look at how the last week has gone, as I've been, you know, rehabbing my my knee and hip, and resuming training, getting ready for nationals. So, I think before long, we're going to be releasing um, some more high production stuff. Dylan and I have been talking about sort of how we want to do that, what that's going to look like. And uh, I think it's just around the bend. So um, we might have one or two more of these, but Nationals Prep is starting to ramp up. I'm in my second last block, just starting it, as you'll see here. So, uh, yeah, things may get a little more a little more exciting soon. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like people have been enjoying these. So let's, uh, let's just dive right in. So I uh, somehow missed my front squats on the... Um, I might, might move myself around a little bit as it's required here, but uh, somehow missed my front squats on the on the good camera here. But we have the cross body single leg landmine RDLs, which again are just torturous. These things, they're great friggin' movement. I think I'm doing them backwards here. I did them one way and then talked to Seth and he was like, nope, you gotta do them the other way. And I honestly, I, I rarely remember which is which. And uh, I think maybe I'm, I'm doing them backwards in this clip here but yeah we don't need to see that much of my butt but you can see as i finish here maybe you do need to see a little of my butt for me to make this point but i'm like this this is all the feelings that i have after doing those my legs are quivering but uh hey you know i think it's a good movement we swapped them for for dumbbell single leg rdls this block so I've slightly changed my lower body stuff. Um, and you'll notice in next week's update that I've swapped those out somewhat. Uh, the I finally found a good setup for these spread eagle sit-ups. And the, the whole idea here is that we get like a lot of adductor as well as core work. And this week I found a, a bit of a better way to get that bar set. I'll show you here in just a sec. So I basically put a plate here and a plate here, like on either side of that bar. So it's not rolling around like that. And it just allows me to kind of like anchor myself in a little bit better and use my adductors to help pull myself up, which is part of the intent of the exercise, right? Is to get a little bit of that whew, big side again there. Part of that, uh, you know, intent there is to get some adductor going. So seems to be yeah i mean i don't know i can't i can't really say if like oh these rehab exercises are working they're so good but you know things are trending in the right direction i feel way better um my knees aren't bothering me i can pretty much do whatever i want uh in terms of you know training right now um you know i'm still very much limiting the load and you know not going crazy with how fast i'm progressing things but it feels good it feels like i'm making improvements session to session and I'm able to incorporate some back squatting and heavier deadlifting and all that kind of stuff. Bronson obviously being a, a really good dog there. And this was my last week's block pulls. So we got up to, what is this, 285 here? That felt pretty damn good to be, oh, blinking, you missed it. To be pulling a little, little heavier there. All right, just some triples there. And these came down to doubles this week. I actually just finished this session. So um, there we go. Move myself again. But same angle, same things going on here. Um, up to 295, though, which, again, I'm really happy with how heavy I'm able to go, even on block pulls, and still be able to, you know, not feel my knees. So the intent with the block pulls is to have something, you know, traditionally or not traditionally, but when my knee was kind of at its worst, it's this bottom phase of pulling off the floor right there that kind of bothers it the most. So eliminating that with the blocks allows me to get some weight on the bar and not really aggravate the knee. And then we, we're using a, a secondary variation right now, a pause deadlift to allow me to, to progress on that range of motion front. Although that is, you know, much lighter. So chalking up little little obsidian ammonia there code the crab shark or crab shark i can't remember which it gives you a little bit off of that if you want some and yeah the hook feeling good as well which i'm really happy about i feel like i haven't skipped a beat with my grip there's been no issues with slipping 
you know, um, up to, I, I pulled pretty heavy today. You'll see that next week, but it felt good and my hook held. So, um, these have been another, again, great shots of my butt here, but, um, these have been another interesting exercise I'm trying to bias. So, uh, one time I go through, I put my left foot forward, my right foot back. And then the next time I go through, I swap them because I do get like a little bit of hip rotation when I'm doing these as well. So this has been another one of those things that I'm kind of doing a little bit of extra core work, a little bit of extra kind of twisty stuff just to help me, you know, continue to build some work capacity across maybe some of the other muscles that have been neglected because of the fact that I'm not really, you know, squatting and deadlifting super heavy. Uh, what do we got here? We got some banded bench up to 160. I think maybe what, like a triple here. I think I would have done this day. And I mean, this is pretty good. We're looking at maybe 20 kilos in band tension at the top. So about 180 triple at the top anyways. And uh, yeah, bench just continues to kind of boogie along. Still probably a little bit of a, an undershot there. Maybe more of an eight and a half than a nine. So eh, I can't complain about that. And then feet up bench. So uh, for one of my sessions this block, I was able to get up to 162 and a half for six here. But this will be 160 for six, which still like for a, a feet up or Larson press, whatever you want to call it, um, to be able to kind of bang out a bunch of reps with 160. I mean, that's pretty good for little old me as far as the bench goes. I think, you know, coming into my next few competitions, I think the bench is going to be much less of an Achilles heel, which is a really exciting thing to be able to say. Um, filmed a lot of this set might even see me unload the bar before I realize that I had left the camera running. I was having a really good day this day. <laughs> Rocking out to, I don't know what. I'm kind of curious. Periphery. Yep. Some good jams there. Real nice breakdown. Air guitar? Yeah, I was feeling it. I was vibing. And I just let that camera run. Holy cow, did I ever let that camera run. And this was some, I think we changed these from tempo pause to just a paused squat and added a fair bit of intensity getting up to uh, 170 for a set. And then I think 175 for three or four sets this day. And to be totally honest, it was, it was a little achy in my knee. I felt it in my left knee on rep one of each set, but not subsequent reps. By rep two, felt very comfortable. I'm happy to see that it looks like I'm getting good depth there. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is my high bar squat. So slightly different way of moving than what I'd normally expect to see in my low bar. But honestly, you know, being that I have kind of a mid bar squat, whatever you want to call it, not that different, but was able to get up to 175. Like I said, a little bit of discomfort on rep one, but really not having much issue past that. Um, and then not having any kind of like knee flare up, no worse in my sort of activities of daily life after this session. If anything, it felt really, really good for a little while. Um, my knees tend to get a little achy when they get stiff. So for me, moving around more seems to be a good thing. You know, doing some body weight squats. I did a, a PT session um, and kind of like helped some people out this morning. And throughout the course of that was demonstrating some squats. And you know, waking up this morning after sleeping my leg, you know, straight all night, waking up this morning was like, ah, oh, man, my knees might be bugging me a little bit doing a couple like body weight squats. I was like, Oh shoot. I feel freaking fantastic. Now this bench day actually was the same night. Um, and I just, I really didn't have much energy left. Uh, I didn't have a handoff, which I find since I can't put my feet up on the bench for the setup, I feel the handoff really impacts my bench strength quite a bit more than it used to. So on this day, um, I think the protocol was, you know, my a exposure. So this was, this was surf eight to nine RPE. This is where I was going to like 197 a week ago. But on this day, I was like, man, 175 is moving at the same speed that 197 was, uh, you know, this was technically supposed to be the start of my washout, but it just, things were sluggish. Things weren't really grooving so i just took what was there and then we started the new block with the current week so we'll get into all of that new block goodness 
in next week's update. But uh, that's it for today. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed. If you have any questions about my training, feel free to ask in the uh, in the comments below. If you like the video, you like the content, we got a bunch more of that good old educational stuff coming up. Maybe some definitive things uh, with maybe three of them filmed. Maybe Dylan's editing them right now as we speak. And maybe those will be coming out soon. So that, that's pretty exciting, I think. Anyways, we'll let you all go. Hope you're all having a, a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Hope lifting's going well for you. And uh, yeah, we'll talk again soon. All right. Peace.